Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step demo on Kubernetes and we are going to use an online Kubernetes platform called Play with K8. I'm Raghav and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session we are going to use Play with K8 and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. We will go practical and learn what is Play with K8 or Play with Kubernetes. We will create a master node, we will create a worker node and then we are going to join the worker node to the master and then finally run a container in a pod. So this will be very easy and I will go very basic step by step. So let's get started. In the earlier session, we have seen some options to use and explore Kubernetes and under the online Kubernetes labs, we have already seen Kubernetes Playground in the last session and today we are going to explore Play with Kubernetes. So let us see what is Play with k 8 or Play with Kubernetes. If I go to Google and search for Play with k 8 or you can search for Play with Kubernetes, here is the link Play with Kubernetes and if I go here, it will take me to this online Play with Kubernetes lab and here you can see this is provided by docker and it is a kubernetes playground which allows users to run k 8 cluster in a matter of seconds so you do not need any setup on your system you do not need to do any installation you can just start it from here so play with k 8 is an online platform to explore learn and use kubernetes and everything will be on the browser you do not need any installation or setup on your system the time limit for every session is four hours and max instances are 8 and you can log in using your github or docker account so i will go and start this i'm already logged in with my github account so i will just start this and you can see here it says you can see the time remaining here at the top left corner so this is a four hour session and here you can create new instances if you go to this settings button here you can see some commands and shortcuts to clear the terminal you can use this and to go full screen you can use this commands and now we know what is play with k8 so let's get started with the demo here step number one is we will add a new instance so i will go here and click on add new instance and this will create a new instance and you can see here is the ip you will soon get memory and cpu details here and the url as well and here you can see this is the terminal i can go full screen i will press alt and enter on my keyboard and you can see the full screen terminal and here you can see some commands so this is the command to initialize a master node and then to initialize cluster networking this is the command for that so here we have added a new instance step number two is we have to initialize master node so i will run the first command which is this i will copy it and just paste it here and hit enter and you can see the logs so this will initialize a master node in the kubernetes cluster so this can take some time uh, you can also see here the Kubernetes version. So it is using Kubernetes version 1.14.10 and some more logs and all the processes will be shown here. And this process may take some time depending on the network. Maybe within one minute you will get a node created or it can take a max of four minutes. So do not worry if it takes some time. You can see it is now creating and doing all the setup so here it says this can take up to four minutes so let me just come out and you can now also see we have the memory information for this particular instance and the cpu information as well now if i go back to the terminal and check so it is still in process so once we have this running so looks like this is now up so i will go back to the terminal for the screen and you can now see this is now ready also if you see here you will get a command to join any worker nodes to the master or to this cluster so this is the command to join so you can copy all these commands 
so I will just copy this command and before I create a worker node I also need to run the command to initialize cl cluster networking this one the second one so I will just copy this again from here and go to the bottom and paste it and run so you can see this is created so we have added a new instance and initialized the master node now we will add another instance and then we can make it as a worker node so I will go here and click on add new instance and this will add a new instance and once that is created we can make it as a worker node and join to the cluster so this is created now to make it as a worker node I have to copy the join command from the master node so this was the command so let me just copy this from here let me go full screen and I will copy the command that is cube adm join this command and I will go to the new instance and in the terminal I will paste this command and hit enter so now I can run the command kubectl get nodes on the master to get the nodes so let me just go back to the master node instance and go full screen and now I will run the command kubectl get nodes and you can see now it is showing me two nodes one is master the other one is worker and also I can say kubectl get no so you do not need to have to write, uh, write the complete word here notes even if you say no you will get the notes here I can also say kubectl get services or I can say get services or just say SVC this will show me my Kubernetes cluster information so you can see this is the cluster IP and all this information now if I want to get the pods I will say kubectl get pods or get PO will also work and as of now we do not have any pods so until now we have added a master and added a worker and we have joined the instances uh, the new instance to the cluster as worker now we have also run these commands kubectl get nodes kubectl get pods and kubectl get services get nodes will show us the nodes in the cluster get pods will give us the pods information and get services will show us the cluster service info now we can run a kubectl run command to start container in a pod or basically to deploy an application in a container inside a pod so to do that I can just search for I will go to Google and to look at the commands and some examples I will search for Kubernetes kubectl reference docs and this has a complete list of commands and will be very useful throughout your working with Kubernetes and you can see all these commands I have to go to the run command so I will go to run here and here you can see this is to create and run particular image and creates a deployments or job to manage the created containers and here is the command for example if I want to run an instance of engines in a engine X in a container so this is called engine X uh, you can use any application this is just for demo you can use this command and just to create more replicas I can say kubectl run engine x image and the image name and the replicas and this is coming from docker so if you just go to your kubernetes playground or play with gates and run the command docker space v to get the version of docker you can see the version of docker here so I will go here and copy this command kubectl run nginx image and the replicas count is 5 you can change the replicas and I will go here 
and run this command and let us see so if I now say kubectl get pods you can now see we have got five pods and these containers running so the containers are as of now in a status of getting created so if I run this again we will have some containers running now you can see three containers are running two are still left and if I again check now you can see all the containers are in running status so this is how we can deploy an application and start a container inside a pod and this was the command that we used so this is just for getting started and getting familiar with how you can work with kubernetes and with online labs like play with kubernetes you can do all this without having to do any setup or installation on your system i hope this session was useful for you you can find all my sessions on the website automationstepbystep.com and thank you so much for watching